Hello guys, welcome to Easy Math and Circuit. In this video, I want to see how to convert numbers from one base to another base. If you are new to this channel or you have not, please click on the subscribe button below and turn on the notification button so that anytime we upload new videos, you will be notified. To convert numbers from one base to another base, there are two steps involved. The first step is to convert the number given. You first convert it to base 10 and then you convert your answers from base 10 to the new base you are given in your question. To convert numbers from base from one base to base 10, we have a video on that. The link is displayed at the top of your screen right now. The link is also provided in the description below. To convert numbers from from base to base 10, we use the power expansion method and to convert numbers from base 10 to another base, we use the continuous division method. The link to our video on that is also provided in the description below. Now let's go to an example. Now we want to convert 170. 170 from base 8, we want to convert it to base 10 which is our first step. As we've known earlier, to convert numbers from one base to base 10, you multiply each digit of that number by its corresponding place value. And since we are dealing with base 8, the place value of base 8 is 8 raised to the power of 0, 8 raised to the power of 1, 8 raised to the power of 2. That means we multiply each of our digits by their corresponding place value and we add our product together. Therefore, we have 1 times 8 raised to the power of 2 plus 7 times 8 raised to the power of 1 plus 0 times 8 raised to the power of 0. We have 1 times 8 squared is going to give us 64. 7 times 8 raised to the power of 1 is going to give us 8. 8 raised to the power of 0 is going to give us 1. 1 times 64 is going to give us 64. 7 times 8 is going to give us 56. 0 times 1 is also 0. 64 plus 56 is going to give us 120 in base 10. Therefore, our 170 in base 8 is equal to 120 in base 10. Now, since we have got an equivalent value of 170 in base 8 to a base 10, which is 120, since we are converting to base 4 in our first example, that means we continuously divide our 120 by the new base, which is 4 in this case. Now, we want to divide. 120 by 4 continuously. We have 120. We want to divide it by 4. 120 divided by 4 is going to give us 30. And it will be remaining 0. 30 divided by 4 is going to give us 7. It will be remaining 2. 7 divided by 4 is going to give us 1. Remaining 3. 1 divided by 4. That's not possible. That means you replace it with 0 here and you bring down your 1 here. This 1 is the most significant digit of our new value. That means this 1 will be the number at the most left hand side. In that case, we start writing our new value from the bottom up. And that means our 120 in base 10 is 1320. In base 4. In that case, our 170 in base 8 is equal to 1320 in base 4. Very simple. Now let's go to our second example, in which case we want to convert 170 from base 8 
to a binary number which is base 2. The first step is we first convert our number to base 10 which is what we've done here and 170 in base 8 is equal to 120 in base 10. Now to convert to base 2 that means we continuously divide 120 by 2. Let me clean this up. We want to convert 120 from base 10 to a number in base 2, which is binary. 120 divided by 2 is going to give us 60 remaining 0. 60 divided by 2 is going to give us 30 remaining 0. 30 divided by 2 is going to give us 15 remaining 0. 15 divided by 2 is going to give us 7 remaining 1. 7 divided by 2 is going to give us 3 remaining 1. 3 divided by 2 is going to give us 1 remaining 1. 1 divided by 2, that's not possible. You replace it with 0 here and you put down the 1 here. This one being our most significant digit, that means we start writing our answer from the bottom up. And that means 120 in base 10 is 1111000 in base 2. In that case, our 170 in base 8 is equal to 1111000 in base 2. Very simple. In our today's edition of Do It Yourself, we convert 130 from base 4 to a number in base 5. That means you first convert your 130 from base 4 to base 10. And then you convert your answer from base 10 to base 5. Do your conversion. Let's see your answer in the comment section below. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on this notification so that anytime new videos is being uploaded, you'll be notified. Thanks for watching. See you in our next video.